Oh, there you go, man. Cha-cha changes. Here it is. Yeah, there you go. I kind of missed it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we kind of missed it. I, I'm, I'm horrible. All right. Saddle. Boom. Stone. Boom. And here we go. We are on the Harvester Theory. There you go, man. This guy is pretty incredible. Still got the Matrix look. Let's go. Arx Family Bomb TBF Gaming jumping back to our Primal Fear and Eternal playthrough. Excited to get going today. We're working on a couple things. As always, doing a little bit of breeding, doing a little bit of building, doing a little bit of destruction, doing a little bit of death. All those things at once, and we're going to try to stay a little more focused today. Yesterday was kind of a all-over-the-place day, but it was a good Friday. We got a couple cool things. We got a little baby Shinehorn. We got ourselves a TLC Spino that we took up to the TLC Evolution, and it's level 1458, does some pretty good damage. It's got good health. A lot of fun on that guy. But the big, big thing that we got was a Celestial Rock Drake, and we've got the Rock Drakes breeding over here, I think. Oh, we got the first egg. Yes, we got the first egg. Did not get a good mutation on the first one, but we're going to leave these guys breeding. 1181 got a 183 melee stat. Is that the best of the melee stats? Looks like 183 melee stat is the good stat. And then the 162 health stat is probably the good stat there. So not the best health stat, but we'll go with it, man. We'll get this one hatched up and see what a baby rock drake looks like. Well, we know what a baby rock drake looks like, but we'll see what a celestial baby rock drake looks like. See if there's even a model for it. Here we go. We'll throw that in there. Let it do its little egg thing once it's done. There you go. That'll do its thing. Good to go. Now, we have a couple more dinos that we want to do evolutions of. Of course, we've got our Prime Spino. We did a TLC evolution. Our Big Time Gorilla back here, we took to the Unknown tier. The Theri can do that same evolution. So can the Wyvern. So we're going to take one of these two guys up to that tier. In order to do that, you need a few different supplies. But the big one is the Eternal Indominus tokens, Dino Hearts, Dino DNA, and the Dino Blood. Most of that stuff we have because inside of our Soul Station, we've got these the little Jug Bugs that create tons and tons of stuff for us. So I've got the Eternal Token Jug Bug, a DNA Bug, a Crystal Jug Bug, and another Crystal Jug Bug, which means stuff like crystals, We've got like unlimited amounts. That's 1,300 in there, and, and I want to show you how much we have over here. It's an insane amount. Just tons and tons of crystals, almost 100,000 of each crystal. So we're good on all those kind of supplies. Those little jug bugs definitely make it possible to have a little bit of everything. So we've got all the stuff we need. Hearts and DNA, maybe we're short on, but we can make more of that pretty easily. But we can get either of these guys done up. I think you are pretty leveled up. Not like super leveled up, but you've got... 48 about 60 extra levels on you i would like to level this guy up a little more before we take him to unknown same with this guy we've got to level him way up before we take him up and i was kind of doing another scan to see if there's any more of these guys on the map i think you can take an alpha theory to prime and then we could breed those guys together so let me do a quick check for alpha theories so we're going to go scanner action got it and let's look for an alpha theory there you go eternal alpha theory there is a 620 on the map, and it's not too far away. 6316, I think that's the guy we're going to go for. Let me see if I can make some Insta-Tame meat real quick, and then we'll kind of go from there. So let's go Insta. Insta. Insta-Tame meat. Oh, we got five already. Nice. I don't even remember making that. I don't, know when, I don't know when I made it. There's seven more. I'll take it. There you go. Insta-Tame meat for days. Perfect. That'll help out a lot. But yeah, lots of other stuff going on. I did try this guy out in between episodes. Absolutely amazing wood gatherer. So Wally's doing good things. Our buddy Billy over here is making all of the metal. You can see the metal is just crafting up like crazy, as well as tons and tons and tons of charcoal. We'll never, ever be short on those things. Our knockout guys over there. Our guys over here. Just doing lots of big things, man. It's been a really fun playthrough. Our biggest, baddest dinos are probably these two over here. We got these guys from Trick or Treat Dinos. We have a Spirit Dodo Wyvern, level 1035. This guy is kind of amazing. Let me just show you real quick how tough this guy is. Here you go. We'll just come over here and just casually drop bombs on everybody. Oh, no, wrong button. C button? C button. X button? No, C button is fire. X button? No. Con there you go. Does just crazy damage, and it it goes, like, everywhere. You can see everywhere from, like, 300,000 to 200,000, depending on how much of a direct hit it is. And it goes for a long time. It goes all over the place. Definitely a cool dino. Big fan of this guy. The only reason I'm not going to leave him out is because he does do this really little shiny effect. And as you're running around, it gets a little distracting. You just see these little shiny things all over the place. But he's got a cool effect that he does add to people. He basically gives them a healing factor. So it's kind of cool. So maybe they're worth taking into battle or putting on your shoulder. That's definitely something we could look at. Uh, nothing I need in there. We also got this guy in the last episode, the Indominus Dragon. He's pretty incredible. But our absolute toughest dino, for sure, is a little bee. The little baby bumblebee. This guy is absolutely amazing. This one is doing... 
anywhere from one to seven million damage depending on how much direct hit we do and it's cool because it shoots it straight out of the bottom so it's like you're just driving around dropping napalm on people look at that just insane it's so cool looking and if we actually do a direct hit it does amazing damage so we can do some pretty big things on this guy that is a eternal alpha wyvern i was actually looking for one of those but yeah if we go right above something like this we just go like this right click it wait for it to go ahead and drop the bomb on this guy boom four million damage just insane just insane then we just go around picking up all the bags we get all the loot and we feel like we're kind of a big deal until we run into something that eats our face but definitely not bad this one's definitely one of my favorites but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode like comment subscribe huge shout out to the patrons for making all these servers possible you guys know these are all patron servers couldn't do it without them we do have a new server starting up i think next weekend this should be saturday's video so next friday or saturday i should have the next server ready we try to start up one server per month for arc and then a whole bunch of other games too we got conan minecraft seven days to die all kinds of stuff man the, the patrons do so much for me i hope i at least make it somewhat worth it for them. Uh, let's see. Let's go like that. Uh, <laughs> my inventory is going to suck. I hate it. <laughs> inventory management. Now, I do have this to where it makes most of my inventory management pretty much set up. I don't have to do too much with it. We go over here. We hit E. Takes all that stuff off my inventory. But stuff like armor and things like that, I don't really have sorted out just yet. So that still is a little bit of an issue. Let's get that instantane meat back, please. Also, the instantane meat does work on... The Primal Fear Dinos. So that's something we got to keep in mind. All right, let's go ahead and get that. But I've tried not to... I try to make sure I use the right kibble for the right dinos for right now. As we go back to the lower tiers, I might use Instantane Meat on some of the lower tiers. We'll kind of have to decide that. But I don't know, man. Who should we use today? Oh, man. Matrix or the Theory that we just got? Because we're not actually going to... Hmm. I think we're going to go with this guy. Let's make a Theory saddle. Let's do a quick Theory evolution. We could definitely wait and get a better one later. But I think we're going to go ahead and take him to Unknown Harvester Theory. All right. Uh, I need a saddle. Theory saddle. Let's see if we have an actual Theory saddle over here or if we need to make one. Oh, no. Nope, my bad. We'll test that out real quick and then we'll go from there. If we can get a Theory saddle inside here, that's already pretty good. Theory saddle. 318. Nice. All right. And then we go like that. And we go saddle action. Boom. Nice. All right, we're going to take you over here. Let's get the stuff for it. And we're just going to do the evolution right now. We're not even going to goof off with this. I guess we could go a couple levels in. <laughs> I would like to see how much damage he does right now. But this is going to go to an unknown harvester theory. So you have the choice between fire, lightning, poison. Obviously the knockout guys. And then you've got your harvester, which does crazy harvesting. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go like this. And I guess we don't even need that on there. Let's go times one. Like that. And give me the saddle back. Oh, man, here it is. Cool, we actually get to watch this evolution. We don't get to see most of these evolutions. We end up having to be on the dino. This one we'll get to actually watch and check out. This would be very cool. So this guy's going to turn into basically kind of a matrix dino, kind of like the green guy back here. But he's going to be like a, a grayish or black color, if I remember correctly. And he's going to be able to harvest better than almost any dino in the game. All right, let's go ahead and get a armor stone if we have it. Uh, they are all garbage, but they'll at least be better than nothing. All right, how you feeling, man? You almost ready? Oh, there you go, man. Ch -ch changes. Here it is. Yeah, there you go. I kind of missed it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we kind of missed it. I, I'm, I'm horrible. All right. Saddle. Boom. Stone. Boom. And here we go. We are on the Harvester Theory. There you go, man. This guy is pretty incredible. Still got the Matrix look. Now, you can actually do skins for these guys, and the skins look really cool. But if you do a skin, you can't do the armor. So you have to kind of decide. You can go like that. Oh, that's actually where we need to be. So let's go with Theory. And there's three theory skins, right? Or maybe it's four. There's four theory skins. So four. One, two, three, four. And they're kind of expensive <laughs> for just being a skin. Like, it, it it needs to give armor. If it gave some kind of armor, it'd be incredible. Let's go up top and check it out real quick. In fact, let's go like this so we can see it just a little bit better. But yeah, Theory Evolution Day. I love Theory Evolution Day. I love doing any evolutions. That's one of my favorite things about Eternal is all the cool evolutions involved. All right, let's go over here and ignore that. Ignore that. All right, Theory. Boom. Here we go. So we've got our big bad Theory, and if we go with these different skins, we'll go all these over here. Okay, and like I said, you can't have the stone on, so let's go with the first one. I think the bone one we'll try first. Here you go. Bone theory. Boom. Obviously, just like it sounds. 
Looking a little bonus. What happens when he skips a lot of meals? I know those feels right now. All right. That's the bone one. Boom. This one is the lightning one. Very cool, like, blue effect on him. All right. This is the fire one. There you go. A little bit of reddish kind of orangish color. Next one is the poison. No, I'm sorry. Harvester. Oh, I missed the poison one somehow. Okay, and then there's a harvester. So that's what it'll look like without it. Unfortunately, the, you don't get an armor stone then. But yeah, somehow I missed one of the skins. Basically, the one I missed was a green one. So you're not missing anything. It just looks like a green one. Okay, get out of K mode, please. All right, turn, please. And let's go. Also, oh, you know what? I think, I think, I think I can grab really quick a dino steroids. We should have a bunch of these now. Where are we at? And this will give us an imprinting bonus. Is it this one? I think it's this guy. Boom. There you go. This will give us a imprinting bonus for our guy. Let's go like that. And like that. And this will give us a nice little bonus. Make him a little bit faster. So right now we are sitting at... How many millions of health? 26 million health. And the speed is about like this. Nothing impressive, right? Now we go to the dino steroids. Boom. And you can see we're a lot faster, much, much faster. And our health jumped up to 41. So definitely a nice little bonus. And the damage is going to be a little higher too. But now the biggest thing is this guy is a absolute harvesting monster. I think he's pretty strong too. But he gathers everything. Uh, decently strong, not like crazy. Definitely enough to make it to where you could go out and hold your own a little. There you go. And you can see all the stuff he gathers. Crazy amount of stuff. But there you go. Harvests everything. Okay, maybe not stone, but from wood. <laughs> from wood, he gathers everything. There you go. Just crazy, right? Gathers all the things, gathers tons of it. Very, very cool. And the big thing you can use him for is when you're doing harvesting from your primal fear dinos, he gathers all the stuff for you. Mantis. Eat the mantis. There you go. We'll eat this guy real quick. And I think he's got a beam, too. No, C button does that. X button? No. Okay, that does the tickle button. Control. I thought maybe you had a B. Maybe the poison guy does. Maybe this guy doesn't. There you go. Gather a little bit of everything. Yeah, definitely not Definitely not bad. But like I said, if you can actually take him out and go after a couple of the, like, a light griffin or dark griffin, you're going to get way more feathers than what you would normally. So this guy is definitely worth it. All right. Can we get that, please? Eat that guy's face. Definitely pretty good. Let's see what this is over here. A Eternal Alpha Diplo. Let's eat the Alpha Diplo. All right, I don't actually know what you were. What were you fighting? A invisible something. Oh, jeez, you scared the crap out of me. The purple skin made me think it was something bigger and scarier. It's not too bad. Okay, can we pick up all the bags? It's knocking us around. Knocked us around just a little bit. Did we knock something out? It seemed like we did. Oh, it's a DOA. The DOA puppy. Gotcha. I couldn't figure out what was hitting us. These guys hit pretty hard. Let's get a little bit of melee, a little bit of heals. And then we need to get back to base and make some better heals up too. Get this. Go, 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 go. All right. See how we're doing now. A little bit better. Not much. Not much. Like I said, this guy's not like a big time hitter or anything. Okay. Let's do the, the thing. Do that. Come on. We missed completely. Didn't even didn't even hit. This guy has a lot of health. 17 million, I think it says. Okay, well, we're just going to run away because it's going to take forever. We're not worried about him. We just can't do enough damage to make it worthwhile. All right, we'll gather real quick on the way back. We'll go do a quick drop-off at the base. Not bad. Like I said, the Harvester Theory. Huge, huge upgrade. This will definitely help out a little bit. Oh, we probably should have tamed that. DNA bug, my bad. All right, let's go that way. And then we will get on the road today and go after something cool. We definitely need to go after a new Celestial or a new Demonic. So let's do a scan of either Demonics or Celestials and see which one would be fun to go for today since we did something already on the Eternal side. I'm feeling pretty good about the Eternal side. We can definitely come back and do some more stuff on that later. All right. Can we uh, get past all you guys? Let's go like so. You're amazing, you're amazing, and you're amazing. Get out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and put your bag inside of the thing. Basic transfer. Boom. 
The amount of supplies is just insane. Hopefully this is not too far. Boom. Got it. Okay, cool. All right, very, very nice. Okay, let's do a quick scan for demonics because, you know, we haven't gone for a demonic in a couple days. Let's hopefully get one even better than what we got over there with Ruby. Uh, no, not basic transfer, scanner. And we'll do just a demonic, demonic, whatever we can find. There are a couple that aren't even part of the main Primal Fear mod. They're part of the unofficial mod. We could go after one of those. You know, I've never done a capper before. That'd be cool. Parasaur is kind of like the old OG. Megatherium is always amazing. Monkey is amazing. Roll Rat, not a fan. Terror Bird is part of the unofficial mod, I think. Hyena Dun might be nice. 2873. Glotel. Bulldog. You know what? I'm kind of thinking hyena. Hyenas are a lot of fun. 2873. I think 2873 is the way to go. All right, let's go ahead and get our stuff out. 2873, don't forget that. Hold on, where's my rock drake? I want to see if it's all grown up or ready to hatch, I mean. Rock. Okay, rock drake. Pop it out. Hopefully it'll hatch pretty quickly. And boom. Nice. And I'm pretty sure it came out a baby. Rock Drake. Celestial Rock Drake. Yep. And Drake. Let's see what you look like. Yeah, look at that. That is going to be the next big bad Rock Drake. Level 1181. Great level. Great stats. You can power it up while it's a baby. That's awesome. Look at that. That's so cool. All right, we'll pick that guy up. Okay, uh, let's let's head over and look for this demonic guy. We can ride. You know what? We could ride. Who can we ride on? We need someone that we can shoot off of that has really good. We're going after a demonic, so let's ride another demonic. Can I shoot off you? <gasps> I can. Oh, it's about to be a thing. Okay, we're gonna do it. Let's start in the swamp. We can kind of work our way from there. Uh, or should we actually let's go back to the snow where we were. All right, here we go. On the road. Hopefully, find this guy kind of quickly. I don't, I don't even remember where he's at already. We've already forgot the grid, but we'll check it again real quick. Check for any damage instructions coming. All right, let's go do a demonic hyena don. 2873. Uh, ooh, we've got a ways to go. Okay. I should have grabbed a dino steroids for this guy, too. But there you go. 2873. It's going to take a little while to get there. We can kind of look around and see if there's anything cool on the way there, of course. There's so many things that we need to add to the collection. There's definitely a lot of, a lot of good things. And we got to go a little bit south, too. Let's go way more melee. Let's go way more health. Way more melee. Why are you messing with me? Hold on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Okay, yep. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> I guess we're going to go there even faster. Okay. 2873. That was almost a disaster. Okay. 22. There's 28-ish. And then to the east. Oh, look at that guy. Celestial Seeker. Okay, we're going to 73 now. We're almost there. All right. Hyena Don Hunt. Here we go. Oh, this was actually... You know, the first time I played Valgaro under official was right here is where we actually built our base. Shine horn, come on. Oh no. I'll say, where, where's Rudy? Rudy's fine. I thought maybe we didn't get you. There you go. We also forgot to make our new, we definitely forgot to make our new stuff. What do we got over here? Alpha Thorny Dragon. Okay, 28 is just a little bit further north. I see a dragonfly. I see a raptor on fire. Okay, we're at 28. We're very close. Let's get a little more health. Is that him right there? Oh, I see him. I see him. Okay, hold on. Power up. Power up. Keep us safe. I can't see very well. Where are we at? He's only got 2.7 million. It's a pygmy. <gasps> it's a pygmy. I can't see him. Where'd he go? Come over here, buddy. Come here. Where'd you go? You're, you're so fast. Oh, reload faster. He's got 2.7 million. 
Okay, everything's fine. Oh, he's coming back. How powerful is he going to be? He's a pygmy, so he's smaller than usual. 1.9. There you go. Sit right there and stare at us. This is perfect. No, don't go away. Don't go away. I'm not that... I'm not ready. Okay, he should go down. Go down. Okay, there you go. He's down. Also, guess what we forgot? We definitely forgot the kibble. Okay, really quick. So this is a pygmy, so he's smaller than usual. This is going to be awesome. And, oh wait, no, we have the, what am I doing? I have the kibble, don't I? I do. I told you we were ready. Uh, except I probably don't have that tame helper. Okay, I think he wanted like three or four of those. Four, yep. And I probably don't have the tame helper. I do not. You guys making me nervous. Oh, it's going to be awesome. He's a pygmy, so he's way smaller than normal. Let's pick all this stuff up. Come be our friend, little buddy. There you go, Demonic Hyena Don. Do I need a saddle? For I assume I need a saddle. Pretty much all the Primal Fear guys need a saddle. So you're going to be way smaller than the normal one. You're the same size as the Shinehorn. Look at that. Come on. Come on. All right. Inventory is a nightmare again. Let's do another scan. See if we can find another one. We can get a breeding pair right now. Plus, that way I can show you the difference between the big one and the small one. This would be great. Demonic Hyena Don. 580 at 1979. That's not too far away. 1979. Let's go. There you go. All right. I saw some kind of rhino over there. Let's just focus on what I'm doing. 19. It's going to be right up here. All right. 19 and... Uh, that That's not a good time to lag <laughs> while we're flying through the air aimlessly. Okay. Oh, God. How far are we going to lag? Oh, jeez. Oh, we're in a bad spot. I see a celestial. Go, go. Okay, we're very close. Okay, Shinehorn again. No, Ru Rudy, sorry. There you go, Rudy. Boom. All right, now, where were we? 1979. We're so close. One health. 19 will be a little bit further that way. And 79 will be a little further that way. Please don't take fall damage. There is a Ovis. There you go. 19. And should be right here somewhere. Oh, he looks mad. Oh, please don't eat me off the mount. Okay. I wasn't sure if it would. All right. Do you guys see a hyena don? Anybody? I don't see one. I see fire up there. Hold on. Nope. You got wrecked, whoever you are. Oh, I hear explosions. Wait, is that them right there? Hold on. There it is. Demonic Hyena Don. All right. I really wish I'd reloaded. I wish I had more, like a larger magazine, that's for sure. Oh, he's not even right there. What am I shooting? I don't know. Oh, come on. Reload. <laughs> I keep forgetting to reload. It's hard to see inside that little mess over there. 1.5. There you go. Don't run. Don't run. I can't see. Oh, he's just staring. There you go. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, I might have shot him late. I don't even care. Okay. What is that? Eternal Fizz. You stay away, Fizz. All right. Demonic Kibble times four. One, two, three, four. I gave you extra. That's fine. And do I have a Tame Helper out of all that? I do not. And Tame Helper. Oh, we got a Tame Helper 50. I don't think we need it. I think these guys eat fast, but just in case. We'll go Tame Helper and... Come on. There you go. Just to make it, like, super fast. I just want to get this up and get him out of here. Yeah, there you go. Now we can go compare how big these hyenas are next to each other. All right, Shinehorn. Good job, man. Our new, our little Shinehorn Rudy. I thought that was a perfect name for our little tiny Shinehorn. And it's a pygmy that we just got. And, and then another just regular one. So that's going to be awesome too. Rock Drake, what's what's up? Okay, can we melt this guy real quick? Melt him. Melt him. There you go. 
Very nice. Okay, eat, please. There you go. I love that it's a shine horn that can gather. We got an egg out of it. A couple bags. Very, very nice. All right, cool. Let's go check out these two demonics now. And let's also eat this guy's face. You can go away. No one likes you. All right, back to the base place. So we got two hyena dons. Perfect. That means we got a breeding pair already ready to go. This is actually a good good way to get our Saturday going. Today might be a little bit shorter. I think we told you guys yesterday we just had dental surgery a couple days ago, so my, my speech is still a little bit off. Hopefully it's not too, too noticeable, but we're trying to get through a couple episodes and make sure our recording times are still good to go. All right, let's get the two hyena dons out. So we got hyena one and hyena two. They're already a male-female pair. So there's the pygmy, and then there's the regular. Boom. Oh, you can tell the difference. Look at that. Look at that. She's tidy. She's so tidy. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get a picture. Yeah, little pygmy. What's up? So we're going to go ahead and put you guys on breeding. I don't think behavior, mate, and behavior, mate. I will get these guys inside of a station later, but for right now, just let them do their thing. Uh, are you at gestation? Yes, you are. There is a gestation potion. I don't know if I can afford it. Gestation. Oh, yeah, we can afford it, maybe. Craft just one. Boom. And then you come over here, do the thing. Oh, yep, a little lost. Gestation, potion, boom. Actually, skip suggest. Oh, did we just get twins? <gasps> I think there was twins in there. That looked like a double hyena done. There you go, hyena done. I think it was a double. Oh, no, it was a triple. Demonic hyena done, boom, all three. Yeah, man, we just we just gave birth to Cerberus <laughs> in three different ones, but still, there's one and two and three. Oh, check it out, check it out. Yes. Oh, you know what we can do now is we can take one of those Dino steroids and we can go. Yep. These are very expensive. I hate using them, but we can take one of these and we can go like this. Steroid. Boom. Boom. Grows them up. Maybe. Oh, it didn't work. So it doesn't always grow up the primal fear, guys. Dang, okay. But we could do it on this guy. And give him the imprinting bonus. Boom. And then he gets the imprinting bonus, and I can actually test him out. And then we'll let you guys grow up normal. So we'll let you guys grow up, and then you guys will be the next breeding pair along with this one. My little pygmy. Okay, and ride. Boom. I wasn't sure if I could ride it. Without a saddle. We're going to go out with a saddle, even though it's probably not the best decision. Just to test out with imprinting, like, what, what kind of damage you're doing. Got to test it. Must test. All right, left click. Holy crap. 450,000? Oh, we're going to breed these like crazy. Right click. What did right click do? It also did a bite. Okay. C button. C button does the fire. Okay. Let's power up. All right, powered up. And go. All right, let's go test up the power-up. All right. Somebody come here. Get eight. 400. I'm sorry, 546. All right, and then C button. Fire and flame. We missed like 10 times there. Yeah, there you go. This is so good, dude. This guy's amazing. Okay, yeah, this guy is pretty incredible. Very, very cool. So we got ourselves a very good... Hyenadon pair to breed up now. I've got those 920 babies that we can do along with that one that we got that's a pygmy, which it looks amazing. We'll definitely get those guys breeding up, but not a bad day. It's going to be a little bit shorter than usual today because we're going to go ahead and stop it here so I can get myself everything edited and ready to go for the weekend. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, uh, can we melt you, please? There you go. Boom. Did we finish melting you or still got some minions over here? Uh, still got simpletons. Melt those guys. There we go. Good to go. Good to go. All right, guys. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. Huge shout out to the page for making all these servers possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video out. If you've made it to the end of the video, my MVP. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Later. Man, demonic hyena dance. I love it.